We're joined by the chairman and co-owner of the New York Football Giants, Mr. Stephen Tisch. Talk a little bit about Joe Judge and what impressed you most when you met him and had a chance to visit with him. I had a lot of first impressions, and most people think there's only one first impression. I had many first impressions. His intelligence, his focus, his dedication, his commitment, his leadership qualities. Those are five of my first impressions. So obviously you were pretty floored uh, because I'm, I'm sure just like fans out there and media members, not a lot of people knew when they saw his name on the list, that's not the one that jumps first and foremost. I agree with that. I mean, uh, we surprised a lot of people, but I think once Joe walked into the room with uh, John, Dave, and Kevin, they were impressed. I met Joe 24 hours later. I had the advantage in some ways of being one-on-one -on -one with Joe. It was fantastic. Spending over two hours with Joe, I, I learned a lot about football in those two hours Joe and I talked. Um, he's a student of football, he's a teacher of football, and I just love that he's sort of on both sides of the, both sides of the table, both sides of the ball. His enthusiasm and his energy and his passion for this game are contagious. I left that meeting just so pumped about how excited I am that Joe is our head coach. The players are going to love him. He's going to put a great staff together. I think the fans are really going to see a very dynamic, powerful, passionate leader. It's very, very exciting. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you in a little different direction here. As, a, as an Academy Award-winning producer, <laughs> uh, you got a young director that you may want to give a shot to. Maybe he hasn't gotten a shot yet. How much do you look at sort of his resume and who he's been associated with, and maybe does that come into play here with Joe Judge, with Nick Saban and Bill Belichick? I think that's a really smart question. Um, I've been fortunate to work with some great first-time directors. Paul Brickman, who directed and wrote Risky Business, Guy Ritchie, who directed and wrote Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Tony Kay, who directed American History X. There's something very, very exciting about working with a first-time director, especially a director who really wants to establish a very, very strong collaborative relationship with his or her producers. And I really instinctively feel this is what Joe wants, and I could not be more excited about really working and being part of a group of people that are going to be partners with a first-time head coach, and I'm thrilled that he is the first-time head coach for the New York Giants. This morning when I was driving over here, I said to myself, this is the new New York Giants, and I really believe that. Obviously, everybody wants to win. You, your family, the Mara family, everybody wants And the fans. I mean, it's very important right. for me how much the fans want us to win. I respect that. I get that. Very sensitive to that. And I think once the season starts, which is, you know, not next week, I really am very optimistic that the fans are going to observe a head coach who has put together a great staff, and the players are going to come out there and just be focused, dedicated, passionate. Everything is going to go up a level. All the qualities you want from your team, I think, is, are just going to be elevated to a higher level. What else can you ask for? I mean, every box you check as an owner of what qualities, characteristics, pedigree you want in your head coach, I believe Joe checks all those boxes. Mr. Tish, thank you for a couple minutes. Congratulations. Mr. Papper, you're welcome. There you go. <laughs> hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.